Hello and welcome to Tech. I am Muhammad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about the tabular editor and what are the functions available in this for Power BI. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notification. Now let's get started. Tabular Editor is a lightweight editor for SSAS Tabular models built in .NET or WinForms. And now it is integrated with Power BI Desktop. Tabular Editor provides an intuitive hierarchical view of every object in your Tabular model metadata. If you look at the image here on the right side, you have this hierarchical view of your tables, your measures are there and these measures are here. Columns, measures and hierarchies are arranged and display folders by default. You can edit properties of one or more objects by multi-selecting them in a tree. Even we have a DAX editor with syntax highlighting let you easily edit the expressions of measures, calculated columns and calculated tables. Now let's have a look at the prerequisites for the tabular editor. First of all, you need to have at least the July 2020 version of Power BI Desktop, latest version of Tabular Editor, and you have to enable few things in Power BI Desktop. Under preview features, you have to enable the personalized visuals. You have to enable the stored data set using enhanced metadata format. And under current file, you have to disable the time and intelligence auto date time function. And in the report setting of the current report, you have to enable this option personalized visuals, which is in also preview allow report readers to personalize visuals to suit their need. Now let's have a look at the supporting modeling operations in Tabular Editor which is possible in Power BI Desktop. By default, Tabular Editor will only let you edit a limited number of objects and properties when connected to a Power BI Desktop model. These are measures you can add, remove, edit any property of it and calculation groups and calculation items which you can add, remove, edit any property which I am going to make a video in future and perspectives and remove, edit any property of it and the translations you can add and remove here you can apply metadata translations to any object in the model although be aware that Power BI Desktop does not yet support the translations to the default model culture as of August 2020 there is no support of translations in Power BI Desktop for Tabular Editor. And one important thing you have to note here, there is an option here, if you enable the allow unsupported Power BI features, which is experimental, option under Tabular Editor's File Preference dialog box, the Tabular Editor will let you edit any object and property, potentially causing model changes that are not supported by Power BI Desktop, which may cause a crash or a corrupt PBX file. In this case, Microsoft support will not able to help you, so use at your own risk and keep a backup of your Power BI file in just in case. As of now, August 2020, the feature which is being supported is you can add or remove edit the measures, you can create the calculation groups and you can add the perspectives. There is no support of translation and there are still many features out there which is not yet supported in Power BI. And let's have a look at the Tabular Editor Calculation Group. How it is and what it is. Calculation Group can apply specific calculations on top of existing DAX measures. For example, Calculation Groups can implement time intelligence calculations like year to date, year over year or currency conversions on any measures without having to write many different variations of the BS measure. These are the really useful functions of the Tabular Editor for Power BI. And the next is Perspectives. Perspectives in Tabular model defines viewable subset of model that provides focus, business specific or application specific viewpoint of the model. For example, a single model may contain product of sales, finance or an employee data. The sales department requires only product and sales information. They don't need any employee data or finance data. Similarly, the HR department needs only the employee information. They don't need any of the sales or the product data. 
in that case you can create a separate separate perspectives for the sales and similarly for the hr so that if you look at the image on the right side say for example this one when the user goes to this visual and personalize the visual on the legend they will get only the information about the sales if they are from the sales department and if they get only the information from the hr if they are from the hr department perspectives are not mean to be used as a security mechanism but as a tool for providing a better user experience is a important thing which you have to consider and now let's have a look at the other more features which supports in power bi desktop hierarchical display of model objects select and edit properties of multiple objects at once you can duplicate multiple objects and perform batch renaming drag and drop object between display folders and tables add edit and simulate perspectives and translations and do a redo support i hope you got a brief idea about the tabular editor features available for power bi desktop and in the coming weeks we're going to deep dive into the features of the like calculation editors and perspectives and all if you like this video just click on the big thumbs up button if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications if you have any queries and feedback just post it on the comment section below thanks for watching keep learning see you in the next video